Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Just Coded with Sarthak. Today I am back with a part 2 of the video with Akash about Gojek. So in this video series we are discussing more about tech, career, life and product and we will deep dive into how he's working at Gojek, how he's been working at different different uh, side of the app. So consumer app uh, like uh, you and me and people for dri driver related apps which are provider kind of apps. So how's the experience there, how's the difference in scale and what kind of learnings he has been up to so far and what are his success mantras and learnings in the past two years that he was able to use to crack interviews and everything. We will deep dive into a lot of more details and how he has been working at Gojek and uh, a, lot, a few of those things. So stay tuned till the end of this video to get to know more about Gojek and the life, life at Gojek uh, by Akash. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Uh, it gives me enough uh, motivation to put out this content and uh, bring out more such amazing guests on this channel to for you guys. So uh, again, subscribe to and push the bell icon just to that you get a notification every time I put a new video. So uh, I, I hope you liked this video and stay tuned till the end of the video to get to know more about Akash and his journey at Gojai. So without further ado, let's start with the video. So your story is very interesting and very intriguing that we have, we have to deep dive into it. So uh, working at Gojek for more than two years, like how, how is your experience in terms of culture at Gojek and uh, how is the tech team built into it? Like what's the team structure look like for the technical team? Hmm. Culture is very relaxed. Hai. Malab, teams are very lean. Hai. Like you get to work a lot in most of the teams. Like if you are a person like me who likes to work and you who do, doesn't like to rest and rest kind of thing and uh -huh. who wa wants active work. So it's perfect. Hai. Uh -huh. support him milenge, uh, like even the senior uh, quite senior engineers uh, are able, uh, are willing to help like uh, even uh -huh. if they it's not in the if even if they have switched teams they uh, you can ask for any help or any like general mentorship your personal uh, life as well if you want so yeah people i have met very like very very nice people here uh -huh. and yeah, other than that like culture is quite relaxed uh, like even uh, before COVID, uh, there weren't any strict timings and as uh, as such, and mm -hmm. uh, you can leave early and work from home for mm -hmm. like in the evening, something like that was there, and yeah, tire and all were very casual and all those things. You had all the like comforts like food, food in office, and snacks and all those things you had pre-COVID. Uh, currently, it's not possible. Uh, uh -huh. yeah. But yeah. Uh, and currently as well, they are promoting hybrid culture, like uh, a limited days a month would be there in long term as well. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, culture wise, it's quite good. Like many people uh, approach me in, on LinkedIn as well to ask about the culture. So I say, yeah, culture is quite good. People, work, all these things are very good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and the second part of it, like how the team, a tech team built on it, what's the st structure look like? the hierarchy in the terms of sg1 sg2 and uh, how do they work like yeah. a typical day yeah <laughs> like when i joined uh, hierarchy like wasn't there as such like uh, uh what was uh, at that time was like even a 10 years experienced engineer was would also be called product engineer like his compensation can vary obviously but yeah mm -hmm. to the outside world he would be an uh, any engineer would be a product engineer so okay. uh, yeah that was the thing back then now obviously like when the company scales up you need like the hierarchy and all those things becomes a necessity mm -hmm. so right. yeah now it's kind of uh, the the generic thing which is in industry ssc1 mm -hmm. ssc2 ssc3 uh, okay. ssc3 basically ssc1 uh, associates uh, like uh, directs to associate software engineer ssc2 is software engineer and ssc3 senior software engineer and above that ssc4 is lead mostly lead software engineer and okay. after that, you can choose between two tracks if you want to be a like IC individual collaborator or if you want to be an EM, like after IC4. So you can choose your path. And yeah, okay. if you like to manage people, you can go to the EM track. And if you like mm -hmm. to basically uh, collaborate individually and like uh, be a, go into the architect direction, you can choose mm -hmm. that path. So that's oh, nice. What. So overall, company coffee at Chihai Gojek and they care about your people, the person, they care about their preferences. Uh, and people are also friendly there if you can connect with them for uh -huh. your personal and professional growth, professional questions. So it's right. nice to hear. 
and pre covid and post covid times me uh, situation has not gone worse uh, so it's good ki companies taking care of the employees itself so correct then it can be a recommended yeah, company right definitely and covid as well uh, the company support was excellent like uh, mm-hmm. uh, those infected also like uh, said quite a lot good things about uh, gojek and like the, they got like good help from gojek even uh, when their loved ones were hospitalized and all those things in terms of mm-hmm. uh, uh medicines vaccines uh, and all those things injections mm-hmm. uh, yeah so yeah gojek has been good in terms of its culture yeah okay yeah so uh, as i was asking like uh, what was your funda uh, around preparing for interviews or what was your resources that you referred more for your prepare for gojek and what what, what was the different skills or different people or maybe any website or uh, youtube channel that you uh, used to prepare for your interviews uh at that time like the uh, ds algo thing uh that wouldn't be a right thing what i did uh and that wouldn't uh, that i also wouldn't recommend anyone but yeah i f- found it quite boring i should have like overcome though that boredom <laughs> should, uh, in retrospect i should have like uh, worked on that as well but yeah mm-hmm. i didn't work much on that i was mostly focused on android only like uh, that's what i did like in my uh, free time as well i used to create uh, apps and all those things all my internships like i did two three internships at small places only not no no not at a big company or something mostly mm-hmm. small start only so i okay. uh, focused on android uh, yeah so and when i got get this job uh, get, get got this offer i was also doing an internship in android itself so mm-hmm. yeah uh, makes sense yeah and luckily Because theoretical se zyada practical zyada better rehta i think uh, that's the best way आपकी Uh, a bit of the DSL Go system. System design is something which you do in your day-to-day life as well, so not right. a big deal that thing. But yeah, mm-hmm. DSL Go is required, and in work as well, it's required. But yeah, you get to like it's just running your mind in that direction, so it's not right. a big deal. That's what I've realized recently. At that mm-hmm. time, it was a big deal and it was quite boring and all those things. But yeah, things mm-hmm. uh, on that front and uh, like mine. Ah, uh, like view towards that has also changed, and right. yeah, a person should do this. I wouldn't say that he shouldn't do as such. Ah, uh, definitely. I think uh, that's my recommendation as well. Ah, uh, before starting with anything, you should at least try doing DSL Go because that is going to be base for your development right. or whatever right. you are going to do, game yeah. development or website development. Ninety five percent companies also ask about that. So yeah, as a fresher, yeah. you should do DSL Go. Like yeah, correct. and in any case i don't think there there any harm to uh, do dsl go because at right. the end of no the day harm. it's going to improve your skills and improve your thinking abilities in in a good direction so uh right aap kind of front end development ke sath sath thoda sa full stack ki taraf move karne lag jate if your dsl skills are good so right. that's good right. yeah so my last question would be around uh, since you have worked on consumer app since you have also worked on the driver app right now like you are working on that team so what's the difference there what are the parallels that can be drawn or what are the different things that you feel working on a consumer app or working on a on a driver or a provider kind of app uh good question like mm-hmm. uh, difference in terms of like uh, team uh, one thing is like uh, the principles or the tech culture which the team uh, uh, differs a bit like mm-hmm. uh, in transport we had uh, like quite smaller teams like mm-hmm. uh, my mm-hmm. team was uh, in transport luckily the smallest itself as well within the tra- within transport as well we have some sub teams and my team was quite small uh, it was around 5 people here okay. like it's around 25 okay. people so like it was a uh, good change for me in that terms mm-hmm. as well like good in the sense like it was a different kind of thing so mm-hmm. yeah and some uh, philosophies which fall which we follow here are also a bit different and in driver like uh, you get that mo- moral kind of feeling as well that you are uh, working for a, uh, like someone who is not as privileged and like so that's also something uh, which uh, is good 
like mm-hmm. uh, our team basically focus on uh, increasing the driver earnings and all those things so right. yeah uh, you get that kind of joy as well uh, mm-hmm. yeah and yeah uh, consumer app uh, priorities are a bit different like you can't afford uh, any kind of like bad experience yeah mm-hmm. i did like uh, at, at gojic skill drivers shouldn't have the, those experiences as well but yeah mm-hmm. uh, money monetary things uh, can't be like overlooked at any cost for a driver like mm-hmm. uh, for a customer like his experience is more of a priority right. for a driver his experience is also a priority but yeah uh, mm-hmm. you get to look that he doesn't lose his money in any mm-hmm. terms so yeah that's the difference from products perspective from right. text per- perspective there are some difference uh, like the architecture which we follow and the, so yeah getting used to those things it's quite recent 2 3 months is generally uh, when you get on board to things yeah mm-hmm. makes sense i think uh, kafi different mindset hota hai kafi different priorities ho jata priorities ho jati hai right. kyunki uh, consumer ka education level kya hai drivers ka education level kya hai what kind of app they would love what kind of color scheme right. uh what will make them use the app more often than another user experience uh, monetary values hai bahut sari cheeze shuffle ho jati hai in priority order for different versions and i think scale ka bhi difference since consumer will be higher in number so unke yeah. servers ka size unke scale ka hi different hoga unke hisab se optimize bhi karna padega right but yeah it's it's a good an experience in all like uh that was one recommendation that i will say that if if you get an option you should always try out different different teams that you can grab as right. much learning as possible around all these things right yeah obviously yeah uh, you get to work with different people with different ma- so yeah obviously your learning increases uh, no doubt right. on that and you yeah tend to get bored on a single <laughs> kind of thing so yeah like if you get an opportunity that's but yeah nothing to over stress that yeah everything is a good life that's also when right. look i was okay. quite satisfied with the previous team as well yeah yeah i think uh, every team is good every team is uh, good as right. long as you are enjoying the work as long as right. you are uh, loving what you are doing so that's the best part of it so team is just to help you out there but uh, major part lies on the work that you are doing that should be likable that should be aligned with your approach and everything theek hai kafi acha hai ki that you get to work, do a work or that you like kafi logo ko so nahi mil pata in that sense it's right so it's a good company it's a good work that you are doing uh sorry Wait, 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 wait. कहीं मत जाइए. This is just one minute pause. I want to take and inform you that Newton School uh, is starting a full stack developer course for you guys, and you can check out all the links and all the uh, information about that in the description box below. This is a course that they have created especially for you guys, where you don't have to pay any upfront fee until you get the placement offer. So जब तक job नहीं लगेगी, जब तक आपके salary नहीं होगी, you don't have to pay that amount. So uh that is one special offering from newton school and new batches are starting in this month only so check out uh, links in the description box below so that you get to know more about this course uh and continuing with the video yeah right yeah. yeah so with this uh, i think we come to the end of this podcast we got to know a lot about gojek a lot about akash how he was able to crack gojek how the things work at gojek and uh, what are the success mantras that he used for his skill so Uh, a lot of things were few, like uh, different from whatever you have been hearing uh, on this channel so a different kind of approach here and different kind of story here i think every learning every story is a learning for you guys and you can use all these methodologies may or may not apply for you but you can always try and have fun during this thing so with this uh, we come and thank you so much akash for taking out this time and coming on our channel and sharing these experiences to the audience uh, any last word if you have for the audience yeah thanks for the invite and yeah it was very nice conducting this session and i hope uh, like people who would watch this would gain some learnings out of it and yeah, yeah thanks a lot for the invite and uh, all the best for your channel for the future uh, interviews as well yeah thank you so much akash thank you and all those guys who are wondering i will put the linkedin link for uh, linkedin profile link for akash in the description box below so you can check that out and see you in the next video bye bye thank you So folks, with this we come to the part two of this video. Uh, uh, I hope आपको ये दोनों videos काफी अच्छी लगी होंगी. आपने काफी कुछ gain किया होगा. I hope uh, you will be able to use the insights of Akash 
and how you can crack uh, a job at Gojek, what kind of rounds and what kind of difficulty you can expect in the questions and interviews and what to what to do what to how to practice about it and this would be the uh, this should this could be considered as one way to approach the recruiters and uh, get a job at gojek so uh, please subscribe to my channel for more such amazing content uh, i will be pushing more such podcasts in uh, coming weeks we are bringing in more and more guests from different different parts of the world in different industries uh, telling about their stories and how was how they able to move into this software development industry so I will see you in the next videos guys. Thank you so much. Uh, see you there. And thanks the supporter of this channel, Newton School. Uh, what is Newton School? Newton School is an edtech startup where uh, you can learn more about uh, different technologies out there. Uh, they will help you get job offers from these top tech companies. And they have a very good program where you don't pay one rupiah until you don't get a job in these companies. They have very good uh, offerings with this uh, course. Uh, live classes, industrial projects, mock interviews, and personal mentoring. Uh, I will put the link in the description and I suggest you all to check this out and explore their courses.